to the streets of L.A. here, guys. We have the Clippers here at the house. Clippers are starting to get hot here, guys. They're laying one and a half points here at the house um, versus the Phoenix Suns. Total sitting at 217 and a half in this one, Ski. Um, do you? I know you catch with the Clippers yesterday. Do you think they keep it going um, here today? Uh, Kawhi is probably out, and Devin Booker is probably coming back for Phoenix here. It's okay. It's all right. We go to we go to Josh here first, my guy. Then we go to my guy Ski here. Josh, what you think about these Clippers versus Suns spot? Yeah, I think obviously we need to wait and see for the Suns. Is Devin Booker going to come back? He's listed questionable. Is DeAndre Ayton going to play? He's listed questionable as well. So mm-hmm. a couple pretty big pieces there for the Suns. Kawhi is not going to go here for the Clippers, but Paul George will, um, which obviously matters for them quite a fair bit. We've seen how different they are in terms of execution and offense these last sort of two weeks with Paul George and Kawhi back. So if Booker is unable to go and Aiden's unable to go, then yeah, I think the Clippers absolutely keep rolling here. But if they get Devin Booker back, I think uh, we see a completely different Phoenix Suns team because, you know, we've seen just how much they've dropped off in his absence. They're not someone that I think, uh, they're not a team that can just lean on Chris Paul anymore the way that uh, Paul used to be able to sort of carry the load for them when he first arrived in Phoenix. I think that ship has very much sailed and he needs to be that secondary playmaker now behind Devin Booker. Um, who, if he can get back to the form he was in before the injury, uh, then we see, you know, the Suns have a little bit of a mini revival, if you want to call it that, and get back to their basketball. So definitely keep a very close eye on the injury report here before you get involved in this game either side. Uh, if Booker is out again, even if Aiton is in, but if Booker is out again, I would only lean the Clippers here. I think that they very much look a team locked in, especially defensively. They look... Uh, absolutely elite at that end of the floor they're keeping teams you know sub 100 points um, with consistency now uh, so yeah the, the the wings and the length that they have there it's going to be problematic i think for this sun's lineup if they don't have someone like booger that can shot create for themselves so clippers will pass for me just wait and see exactly what happens with aiden and booker though before you get involved <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I could see. Uh, I think Booker's coming back. He's played practice yesterday. Yeah. This team has lost five straight games. Don't be a bit surprised to see the Suns uh, close as the favorite in this one. I'm not sure it'll matter, but um, I definitely think that he plays in this one. Ski, um, uh, how you looking at this Suns versus Clippers spot, my brother? Uh, well, I didn't love this one as much as the other games, but I know I'm definitely not putting any more money on the Suns until they, you know, they got to show me some kind of consistency. Yeah, the sun, the sun's <laughs> been. They have not Aaron been playing in the uh, uh, form. Yeah, my bad. I know I'm choppy, but I, I would only look at the Clippers here. My bad, guys. Nah, you good. You good. Uh, yeah, my guy Ski says the the Suns are on the hell no list right. Now. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Now I will. The Suns, they're not playing well right now. Um, but I mean, like I say, Ski. Um. I, you know, I know that you you don't you don't really like this game, so let's just go ahead and um let's go ahead and get out. And I don't think we have an official play on this game uh, as well, guys. So if you guys don't mind. 